Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? We are playing Euro Truck Simulator today. Ooh, there's a copper there. Uh, I'm in Plymouth, in UK, and we are going to go and find a job very shortly, but before we do that, I wanted to show you my truck. I've played this game quite a bit, and I have earned myself this truck here. There we go. Look at that paint job. I love that paint job. That is part of a DLC pack that I was bought uh, for my birthday a couple of years ago, I think. A year ago, I can't remember now, but it was from my wife, Senleia. She bought me this um, custom paint job DLC. So that is how we have got the wizard with the flames on the side. I took the green, the bright green um, text on the tyres just because... I think it looks pretty cool as it's driving up the road with like these glowing green circles on the wheels. Um, it's a little bit different. Uh, but yeah, I, I really do love my paint job on my truck. And then I've got a few little extras all over the truck as well. We've got Frithgar and Senleia, personalised number plates. It's awesome. I love my truck. So, let's get started. Uh, I don't want to press that. We can start up. I have my steering wheel and everything set up. What we want to do is we want to find a job. Um... It's very quiet sounding from inside the cab. I tell you what, I'm going to sort out the audio just a second because I think we could have... Hang on. Oh, I tell you what. Uh, there. Actually, that's okay. This is the music that I've got. Um, I've got a whole load of songs in my radio. I might actually just tweak this a minute. Wait for. Wait, wait a second. I'll tweak this and we'll be back. Right. I think I've tweaked that enough. Um, this is some very, very old music that I downloaded several years ago right at the start of my YouTube career. Um, and it's turned up in the music file on this game. I completely forgot that I had it in here. So what we want to do is we want to find a job, first of all. So we go to our job market. I will just very quickly show you what I've got here. My skills. That's my skills tree at the moment. I'm sort of working on both of these at the same time now, as I've got everything else up there. And then I'll do the eco driving last. I wasn't too concerned about eco driving. Uh, what else we got? We've got the garage manager. I have got... Um, Myself, drivers assigned, oh I've got, um, that's my garages that I owned, I got two large ones, one in Plymouth, one in London, and I got one in Nuremberg as well. I don't have any trucks or drivers assigned to that one yet, um, but these two here, we do have drivers and that assigned, uh, you go to driver manager right here, there is all the drivers that work for me, loads of them, and... Some of them are top rating. Most of these are quite new drivers, so they're busy earning their ratings still. I've got to sort of go through them and um, sort everything out there, but we don't need to worry about that now. So this is all part of the game that you kind of, it's, it's kind of like the back game, um, which I think takes second place to this part of the game, which is actually using your own trucks to earn a load of stuff. Now we've got, there's jobs all over the place. You can do it by price per distance. Um, Dover to Calais, like that one there. We'd have to go up to Dover and we just go straight over to Calais. It's a very quick, easy job. 89.72 euros per mile. It's all I've done it all in euros. Um, that one there looks pretty cool. Cars. Uh, but we don't want to do that. We're in Plymouth, so we'll take the loads that are in Plymouth. We've got a very heavy one here. Unfortunately, that's a little bit too far. I don't want to do all that today. Um... That one, again, is quite a long distance one. I'd like a shorter distance one. There we go. London, uh, Plymouth to Birmingham, I think is a, a good way to start off. That's 58 euros 50 per mile, 13,000 euros. And I think we'll go for that one. So is there anything on this that the star is? Oh, it's high value cargo, standard delivery. That's an express delivery there. Um, the rail stack at 17 tons. But this one is a 23 ton car. So I can't remember how we do it. Oh. I double click and it sets the GPS. So let's get started. Now I engine malfunction. Oh yes, um when I was trying to reacquaint myself with the um the controls and everything on this, I kind of drove into a lot of uh vehicles and stuff like that. Right. Uh press enter, I want to service and chassis is at 17% damage. Right, let's repair everything. 21,000. That wasn't cheap. Okay, and we'll leave there. We don't want to do anything else. Let's go and get this job. Now, where did I put it? It's out here. Um, we want to come out this side. 
Now, you'll probably notice that I do actually keep the mirrors up um, from inside the cab, and I prefer to drive in cab in this game. I find it's easier to do it than it is to drive out of cab because you can see where your steering wheel is. Now, is that car going to drive into me or not? The truck didn't. And I want to come over here. I'm doing this really badly. I shouldn't really be cutting across like this. Um, so we come up this way. And here we go. Right. It's the, this is the one bit that I'm never keen on, is um, having to, you, the way that you sort of look out the side as you're going along. Now, where am I supposed to be going? I'm supposed to be going in... Oh, in here. Right there. There's the load. You go up to it like that and press enter. You can see the jobs. Go to freight market. And this is the one that we want here, the one to Birmingham. So we double click on that one. And our trailer is now ready, so we can go and get that. I prefer to stay in cab, like I said, on all of it because I just find it generally easier. I, I keep the mirrors up on both sides. And I know that it kind of got a double mirror on the left hand side. And I've got a ve the vehicle is made so that I'm. Um, yeah. Is it that one? That one. Right. I've done, um, the, the vehicle is done as a UK vehicle. Ooh, I very nearly swiped the other trailer there. It's done as a UK vehicle. So, um, hang on. Sorry. I'm just uh, waiting to see where I can get out. It's, it's a bit busy here in Plymouth today. I think we can get out now if I go past that. Um, just sort of push on out. That truck can wait a little bit. We're going to have to swing right out round. This is quite a big load. I will um, show you outside the cab view in a minute. Shall I'll do that now. There we go. Now, it's a right-hand drive vehicle because we're here in the UK and the UK has right-hand drive. So when I go onto the continent with my truck, I'm driving on the wrong side of the road for the steering wheel. I prefer it like this. It's... Um, it's more familiar to me, although I do occasionally go and drive a vehicle that's got um, left-hand drive instead of right-hand drive. Uh, I prefer to sort of keep it like this. And let's bring it around. I find it very difficult to judge in this game with driving out of cab like this. Um, there are various different views that you can use, and I will show you some later on. But right now, I think we want to be in the cab so that I can actually see what's going on. I need to set the cruise control next. And if we come up through here, there, and right. So the cruise control is set. I love the cruise control on this game, the way that it works. We've got 30 mile an hour limit from Plymouth. Um, it's, it's all the way through Plymouth, and then it goes out a little way. You've got a whole load of roadworks going up towards, well, it's, it's actually going towards Exeter, but Exeter's not a city on this game. And I think Cardiff is actually the nearest city to uh, when you leave Plymouth. And the difficult bit about using a um, cargo like this is that it's oversized. Now, what views have we got? There's that one, which I don't think moves, moves around. Top of the truck up here. Um, four doesn't do anything. Five is down that side. This is right on the front. It's actually... That's actually a pretty cool view, that one. I do like that one. And then you got down on the side here, and then I think it's number eight, which is one of my favourite ones. Yeah, it sort of stays in the same place wherever you go. Ooh. Okay, I'm... No! I'm going all over the place. This is, this is the bit that I'm really bad at, is trying to, trying to judge it when I'm using option eight. Um, because that's the one that you can use to get some really cool screenshots. Because of the way that the camera jumps forward, but the camera stays solid, so it makes it more difficult. Now, when I come over onto here, I make sure that I stay straddling both lanes, because there's no way that anybody's going to get past me. Um, for future games that you want me to play on Fridays and Saturdays, head into the comments section down below. Make some suggestions for different games. Tell us what you'd like me to play, what you wouldn't like me to play, that sort of thing. And I will take a look at the most popular comments. So if you see someone else recommending a game, then give that comment a like. And I will see it and I will be able to take that into consideration with the next games that I've got. Now, I've said to you previously, I've got Silver as a game that I'd like to play. It's one that I just picked up recently on Steam. And am I going to have to come out to let that one out? No, I don't think I am. 
Um, I picked up Silver just recently on Steam as a game I played many years ago, and I thought it was really cool. It's, it's probably going to seem quite retro now. Um, I've got one called Don't Starve that a few people have said they'd like to see me playing because um, they quite enjoy that game. Um, what else have we got? I just got, um, I picked up in a Steam sale, uh, oh, what's it called? Um, it's not Prison Architect, it's another one. It's basically, you are, you're a prisoner and the main aim of the game is to escape from the prison. And I cannot, for the life of me, remember what it's called now. Is this really going to bug me? Is this really, really going to bug me? Anyway, um, that aside, yep, so do, just get into the comments. Tell me about what sort of games you'd like me to play, whether you'd like me to play this a bit more, whether you'd like me to um, do anything different with this game. Um, I have said previously that if my Farming Simulator time lapses become less popular than the other videos on my channel, at the moment the Farming Simulator time lapses are the most popular um, videos. If I start to get other videos become more popular and the time lapses sort of lose their prominence as the video on my channel that everybody wants to see, I will consider changing one of them to time lapses for other games. Um, I've had already had people asking me to do that, or to just at least do time lapses from other games. I'm not going to start doing it yet, um, or anytime soon, because of how many people really like those time lapses. So, um, but this is one of the games that I would consider sort of playing for four or five hours and time lapsing down because long journeys on this one, especially with the in cab view, I think could be quite interesting. Um, I don't want to do long journeys like this. Because I can't see where my steering wheel is going, I find it extremely difficult to stay on the road. Even when I come round to the side and I look at it here, see, I'm all over the place when I am trying to get a, a good view on this. Absolutely all over the place. But look at that truck. That truck is awesome. Is that not absolutely sensational? Look at that thing. It's a beast. I love it. I genuinely love that truck. I really do. Oh. But uh, not apparently not enough to treat it with any kind of respect. There we go. Absolute. Oh! <laughs> um, yeah, this is why I like to stay in the cab. Now, can you understand? Do you understand, ladies and gentlemen, why I want to do this? I, that's cost me quite a bit of money on the um, on the trip. I think. I think. I think that's going to have cost us an absolute fortune. Um, where is the map taking us? So we're going up the M5 now, and I'm not sure how much further we got to go before we can get anywhere of substance. I'll get the cruise control going again. I'm not sure how much damage that just did, but if you have a look on the screen where our little map is, um, right in the middle at the top, you can see a little picture of the truck, and it is now half red. I suspect that smashing into that post on the motorway has not done us a lot of good. I suspect that that has done us a lot of costly damage, and it's also cost us on our, um, our delivery rate. Engine malfunction, yes, see, that's why. We're going to be doing this a lot. When, you're, when your vehicle gets damaged like that, you start to... Um, you, you start to slow down and stop quite a lot. I really wish I hadn't done that. I really wish I'd just been paying just a teensy, teensy little bit more attention to what I was doing. And <laughs> we would have been okay. But no, it's going to it's going to keep doing it. It will now keep stopping randomly with an engine malfunction until we get it to a garage and get it repaired. And I'm not sure where the nearest garage is. It's a little way to go yet. We've got to get all the way up this road. There's no way to turn around and go back again. Um, we're heading to Birmingham, I think it is. We go here. Cargo destination is Birmingham. Um, remains 9 hours and 4 minutes. And our next rest stop is 9 hours and 16. So... We've got time to get there. I don't know how long it's going to take physically to drive there. Probably not all that long because you do tend to go at a reasonable rate. Now, you might wonder why I'm hogging the middle lane here because um, certainly for us in the UK, this is generally considered to be bad form. Hogging the middle lane is not really something you should do. You should stay over in the left-hand lane unless you're overtaking someone. However, the way this game works, um, it usually shuts down the lane on the left-hand side 
as you're driving along and you've then got to sort of pull out into the next lane in order to keep moving and it can be quite difficult to do that without driving into someone so I prefer to stay in this lane and stay safe right I just possibly ran through speed cameras there. oh well no nope, we're doing okay um how much further have we got to go I think if I stop and look at the map that might give us a bit bit of a better indication um all right let's do it let's do it just press escape and if you go world map it should show you on here right we're way down here and we've got to get all the way up to Birmingham Birmingham um oops no I didn't want to do that can I right click it ah there right um not sure how you're supposed to oh like that right I've got a long way to go I'll tell you what I'm going to keep driving for a while and I'll meet you up here because I think that we're going to have to stop several times and I would like to at least um, let's carry on there we go I would like to deliver this load before we finish just so that we can see how much we've done and we'll see how much damage we do to the vehicle as well as we're driving along but I'm hoping that we won't do any more I can usually get to the destination without destroying anything even though um, I didn't do so well this time. It's been a long time since I played. You, you, you have to sort of give me give me a bit of sort of... Give me a bit of leeway. Get just... Uh, oh, no. <laughs> it's going to keep doing it. It's going to keep doing it. I'm going to have people smashing into the back of me. And it's going to keep doing it. But you can't stop in the services. It doesn't work there. You've got to actually get to the city. And I could take a big detour to Cardiff and get it repaired there. But I don't really want to do that. So I'm just going to keep struggling on up the motorway. I'm stopping every now and then. <laughs> I really wish I hadn't smashed into that lot, into that um, uh, pillar in the middle of the road. That was that was a really bad move on my part. Well, we're getting there slowly it's taking its time but we are doing it and we do keep stopping that is the unfortunate side effect of having all this damage to our truck is that we do keep stopping but I'm confident that we can keep this vehicle moving we can keep this bad boy rolling and we won't have any such accidents again but quite frankly this truck does look very cool even though I am now drifting dangerously all over the road <laughs> okay, that's, that's why I shouldn't be doing the out of cab stuff. I, it's it's really really difficult to try and keep everything straight and lined up. And yes, I did time lapse some of that, or at least I'm hoping I did. The plan was that I was time lapsing it. I don't actually know if I've been able to do it yet, but I probably will have. And I will time lapse some more of this now um, until we get almost up to Birmingham, and then we will. Um, oh, I need to pull out here. There's a road there that I haven't actually used yet. I will do that at some point. I'm on like 40% coverage of all the roads. But anyway, I will see you now when we are almost at Birmingham. People of the UK will be familiar with those yellow cameras hanging over the road just up there. Um, well, we've gone past them now. Uh, those are average speed check cameras. And what they do is they record your number plate as you go past them. And then record your number plate when you go past the next one and so on and so forth. And they take the average speed that you've done between the two of them. People generally dislike them. They work, they do keep the um, traffic down because a single spot speed camera, people slow down for the camera, speed up again, 
uh, average speed check you have to keep your average speed below whatever it's set at and um, it is it is effective uh, but that doesn't mean to say that people like them because if you drift over the speed limit by one mile an hour and you stay that way for a long time your average speed obviously is going to go up and then you get a nice little letter through the post saying you broke the law you have to have points on your license and you have to pay a fine um yeah but anyway we are fast approaching birmingham we have uh if i show there see we're just engine malfunction again i don't know how many times this has happened now it's happened quite a lot um i'm starting to wish that we hadn't driven into the wall although to be fair i kind of started to wish that as soon as we'd driven into the wall we've got to Ooh, i had a bit of lag there i don't know what that was about i think i had a couple of spots of lag yesterday when i was playing spin tires as well and i really don't know why because um i don't normally experience like just random spots of lag like that but it didn't just lag the game when i was playing back the video afterwards um or uh, playing back a section of the video I, I just happened to find a spot that um showed Right, I need to pull out here, but that car there needs to slow down and let me out. There he goes. Um, yeah, it, it happened to show that um, I was... it, it the um, My voice lagged as well. Everything lagged, the whole thing. So I don't know if it was... Well, what, why have I had a... Oh, loan installment in total of 8,600. So that's cost me a little bit. Right, now we need to slow down. We've got to get up around here. Now, this is a difficult bit sometimes because if we get a vehicle come up to the side of us, we could end up sideswiping them with our trailer. So let's just slow down a little bit. We want to go up here fairly steady. Um, I think fairly steady is about all we're going to cope with. I don't think it's going to allow us to do anything other than fairly steady because it's, it is a very heavy load. We've got 22 tonnes on the back. I know there are bigger loads. Um, <laughs> oh, stop! Just, I just need to get to Birmingham. We've only got like this little tiny bit to do. We we're right there. We we're within sight of the city. We can see it. And it's it's just there. And it keeps breaking down. We're going to have to go to the garage. We'll, we'll deliver the load and then we'll go to the garage and see how much damage we did by smashing into that post. Because I'm sure that you guys want to see that as much as I do. I really want to know how much damage we did to our vehicle. What it's going to cost us. So once we get to Birmingham, we've delivered this load, we will um, see how much that cost us as well. Right, we want to jump up to 60 miles an hour if we can. And we've got to go around quite a tight turn here in order to be able to get onto the road that goes straight into Birmingham. Um, this is the sort of one that is a bit more difficult to get around. And I'm going to just go into this option here because... Oops. Yeah, I'm, I'm lagging a little bit. You look at the size of the trailer and then compare it to the size of the road. It doesn't work all that well. See, look at the size of that beast. And then let's go on here. we got to get down this little road here. And we got to hope that that trailer doesn't swing in so tight that it gets wedged. I have had a vehicle wedged before now. I had a long load and I have managed to get it wedged usually i'm okay it normally happens if you're driving just a fraction too fast if you misjudge it a little bit and you go just a teensy bit too fast bad things happen um but it looks like we've managed to do that one okay um how fast are we going to be 40 mile an hour zone is it oh 60 oh 50 50 for us because we're a, a lorry we've got to go a little bit slower even though it said 60 on the sign over there um i don't know if i want to stay out here or not can i keep going no it's made me stop completely. We're right there. Birmingham is there. We have, we've we've at least got there. We've at least done the trip. Now all we've got to do is deliver the load. And we will end up losing a little bit because of the... That police car undertook me. That is an illegal manoeuvre on the roads in the UK. You are not allowed to pass on the left-hand side. Technically, I shouldn't be in the fast lane right now. I should be on the left-hand side of the... Um, in the left-hand carriageway so that vehicles can pass me on the right but the copper shouldn't have gone past me like that regardless of the fact that i'm sort of hogging the road here and i shouldn't be he shouldn't have gone past me he was in the wrong not me okay maybe we both were but still and i yeah see whoa i'm getting some serious lag issues here i don't know if that's going to have come through on 
the vocal as well, whether the whole PC is sort of saying, hang on a minute, or if it's just a game. We'll find out when it plays back. It's doing it again. And I'm not quite sure what... I suspect part of it is because I've, um, I've got some really old mods, and it might be that they're conflicting slightly. Um, it might be an idea for me to uninstall the mods that I've got. Is a couple of... I think it's the Jazzy Cat mods, I think they are. Um, I'll look into it for if I play this game again and see about getting rid of some of them. Um, or changing them around, I'm not quite sure what we'll do. Right. We need to go right and then left and there's our delivery. So it's easy enough to get there. It's whether or not it's one of those deliveries that are really, really difficult to get into. Because some of them are practically impossible to actually get into. It's really, really difficult to actually get in. Um, so let's bring this one up round here. So far, so good. Engine malfunction. It's actually still running. Right, there's my timer going off. But traffic lights ahead, so let's just pause here and wait a minute. And you do actually pick up a fine if you try to jump the traffic lights. So we don't want to do that. We should just be able to go... It's left here and then um, go straight into the FedEx place. It is FedEx, isn't it? Right, come on, let me out! There we go, traffic lights changed. And... This, I'll tell you what, it does remind... Every time I get in here, when I was a teenager, my dad used to drive an HGV lorry. It does remind me a bit of riding around with him when I'm doing stuff like this. Although we didn't do a lot of city delivery. Um, he was he drove a lorry that delivered straw to the farms. And so, yeah, we, we didn't do a lot of city driving. We did driving in the country and trying to find massive great big farms all over the place. Now, in theory, I think you come... I can't remember how you do it now. I think you come in and it tells you where to... Press the following key to handle job delivery. Right, where do you need it? Let's play it safe. Skip. No. Oh, you get to choose now. I see. Right, we will close that and now it will tell me where i got to go. I think that's... Is that how it's... Is, have I picked it correctly then? Or did I need to double click it or something? Let's just back up a minute. I'm backing out onto the road here. Someone's going to probably drive into me. Right. Ah, right. Now, we, there we got it. So I need to... I'm going to need to drive on round. Engine malfunction again. This is going to be the difficult bit. And if I do go to option two here, it is a little bit easier to see what you're doing when you're driving around like this. But as we've come this far doing it on mirrors and so on, I would prefer to do it on mirrors still. So let's go back into cab. We've seen it out there. We've got to turn around and then we've got to back into that parking space and then unhitch the trailer, which shouldn't be too difficult, all things considered. We want to come up here and get a precise parking bonus. I almost always try to get the precise parking bonus. I quite enjoy the challenge of precise parking. Um... Depending on... Well, how are we going to do that? Okay, this one might this one might be a little bit more difficult than I originally thought. Because um, if you have a look... Right, it's, it's really laggy. I've got a feeling that it's this load that I've got. I think this is one of the... Um, I think this is one of the mods that I've, um, I've picked up. And I've got a feeling that it's lagging... Um, because of the um, out being outdated, we'll have to see. If I can't, if I come back to this game again, I will um, change things over a little bit so that uh, I don't have any outdated mods. Because I'm pretty sure that it did say that one of these was outdated. Right, I'm backed in there. Why is it not saying that I'm backed in? Have I got to have the truck straight as well? Maybe I do. Oh, there we go. I had it right! I had it! There. Stop. 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 And that one. No, that one. No, that one. Yes! Decoupling. Lowering trailer legs. <laughs> okay. Damage penalty 11.6%. Minus 6 grand. So, proficiency bonus of 2 grand. Long distance delivery bonus 300, high value cargo 2000, 
7,900 for the base reward. We lose 6,181 minus 300 XP. So, yeah, we we got seven grand, which was a bit uh, very poor, actually. Okay. Um, we won't be doing that again. No, hang on. I want to come out of here, don't I? Back to drive. And let's go. We want to get to a garage, don't we? Now, hopefully, I shouldn't be lagging too much with um, the trailer uncoupled now. Although, I suspect that because the mod is installed in the game, it's still going to do it a little bit. There's a garage there. Is that... I can't remember now. Is that gar Does that garage mean that I can... Right, let's just rush. I've already got loads of damage, so let's just go for it. And I want to hurry up and get there. Yes, that's where I want to go. I want to go in there. So that we can see how much it's going to cost us. No, this isn't where I want to go. This is a dealership. And press the... Yeah, just to visit the dealer. Is it going to let me repair it? No, it's not. Uh, trade in, customize configuration. No. Yes, I want to leave. Right. Let's come back round. And if I press that one there, it should tell us... Where is the mechanic? Oh, there he is. Right, I think I've got to turn round and go back the other way. Back up. It shouldn't take very long. There, I can see it. I can see it. It's right there. Engine malfunction. Right, so we lost like six grand on that trip because of the accident, um, which meant we did the entire thing for 7,000. So now we want to go to the... Um... Oop just smash into me and cost us a bit more damage that was probably my fault entirely because of my bad driving um we'll just pretend that that didn't happen well we can't really pretend that's the thing with this game it's really really unforgiving it's absolutely 100 percent unforgiving of any accidents or mistakes or anything like that and i suspect that the accident and that little ding just there that we just had it's going to cost us at least another 20 grand. So we are essentially, after doing that mission, um, at a guess, 15,000 pounds or 15,000 euros worse off than we were to start with. Now, I'm out of the traffic lights. All we've got to do is wait for this traffic here. Yeah, I know. I'm a bit sort of jerky on the accelerator and that. I blame the, uh, the broken down truck. Let's come on round. And there. Oh! I wasn't watching. I didn't swing out enough. I wasn't watching properly. And I went straight into him. I think that was entirely my fault, really. And what's with the traffic lights? It's, I, I just want to get over there. Right, we're moving again. Let's get on round. I'm sure I need to get... Yes, I do. I need to go this way. I want to come out round. And I want to swing right in across there in front of you. Easy does it. There we go. That's the one that I want. Right. At long last, we have made it. How much is this trip going to have cost us? Right. Head in the comment section down below and put your guess before you actually see how much that this actually is. I reckon that the cost of repairing is going to be about 25,000 euros. That's my guess. It's 25,000. Engine malfunction. <laughs> okay. Uh, truck maintenance. 63,000? Uh... <laughs> okay, so that entire trip ended up costing us 56,000 euros. 56,000 euros. We paid for the privilege of driving from Plymouth to Birmingham. Yeah. Um, right, well, there is my truck in all its uh, restored glory. And I will, if we come back to playing this game again, I will get rid of the outdated mods because I think they are, they are what is causing a lot of this lag. I don't think that it likes the mods for some reason. Um, but there we go. If you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.